Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Preparation video for December 28th, 2020. So, hey everyone, I hope you had a fantastic Christmas holiday. I hope Santa Claus was good to you. And we're ready to kick off a short week of trading that traditionally has a very low volume and can lack some momentum. So we'll want to watch this very, very closely. So what does all that mean? Well, how about we settle in and let's buckle up and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, over the weekend, we finally, well, yesterday, we finally heard that the president went ahead and signed the COVID relief bill, even though um, he really doesn't like the COVID relief bill, went ahead and signed it and is supporting a, a much higher direct payment. But that said, the COVID bill is signed and futures are reacting bullishly to that this morning, as you can see, pushing up here with the Dow potentially, or the diamonds, I should say, potentially um, ready to set a new record high at the open. So bulls are in control this morning as we press up. Now, one of the things I want to point out is traditionally um, a the week, those short, that short week between um, Christmas and New Year, um, we can really quickly um, lose momentum. We can kind of suffer from a lack of volume. And, and it kind of makes sense. A lot of folks, particularly on Monday, are still traveling back from their holiday plans. And you can just imagine there are a lot of traders just simply extending their vacations um, during the holiday, not planning to do any trading. And so typically you see lower volumes, you see the market um, can kind of suffer from a momentum loss. We might get a push, but we may not be able to follow through because there may not be enough uh, volume out there to push it on through. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're planning your day forward or planning your risk forward into the rest of this year, that we could run into some very anemic uh, volume price action, which can sometimes mean lack of momentum, a little bit of choppy, um, it kind of insipid price action. So be very careful and plan your risk carefully. Now, if we take a look at the, our technicals here, um, we are certainly bullish in this chart and we could be breaking out up here or at least testing that high. Now, one of the things we always have to consider is when we test a high that's been tested before, that we could see those bears come back in, initiate that attack and push us back down. But just watch that closely as we press up here into those resistance highs. And let's keep in mind that as we continue to stretch higher and higher and higher here in these markets, we continue to really press some of our um, indicators into some pretty extreme situations, looking just how far we are away from our 50-day moving average. And then check this out, how far away we are from our 200 moving average. That's really astounding um, when you take a look at the, the Dow. So we've kind of pressed this market pretty hard. Doesn't mean we can't press it harder and continue to move up, but let's just keep in mind that the last person in, yeah, we y'all remember um, uh, um, that old game where everyone's looking for a chair until the music stops, right? And what I'm beginning to wonder is that we're almost out of chairs, and I'm wondering when that music might stop and when we might um, flip and reverse just a little bit here. So watch that closely and just make sure that you're staying focused and, and not just blindly chasing, feeling like the market will never sell off because we know it will here eventually. So just be careful buying those stocks that might be overextended at the moment. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also very bullish this morning, gapping up. You can see we popped up here early we're getting a little pullback, which may suggest that, and by the way, this is the pre-market candle, we may be getting a little bit of resistance right there at that resistance high in the chart. Now, we certainly have bulls in control of this trend, but once again, we could be running into that resistance high, so watch that carefully. Uh, possible new records could be set here on the spike. 
And once again, I just wanna echo that we're really far away from some of these averages in the charts. And so we're just going to have to just stay on our toes and be focused just in case we run out of a little momentum or if we attack that high and there happens to be a line of defense of, de of bears up here to press it back. So watch that close. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now QQQ has been extremely strong and um, has really led the market. Um, there's been obviously lots of concern about uh, COVID and we've heard news now uh, from the White House advisor that with um, record numbers of folks uh, traveling post pandemic here um, over this holiday that we could see a tremendous surge um, in that COVID. And um, you can see that the NASDAQ has been one of those safety areas for that play. And we're pushing up here, um, setting a new record here at the open. As you can see, trying to push on through that level. Watch that closely if we happen to have that defense area up here by the bears to push that back and just realize that um, it is entirely possible that we hold this level of price support that there is no real um, fear here in the market at all and once again i just want to point out just how dangerous we have pushed this market um, above these um, major indicators here in that opportunity that a quick reversal could occur at any time. So just make sure that you're focused and you have a good quality plan in place that you're protecting yourself just in case things suddenly shift. Let's look at IWM. Now IWM has been absolutely relentless in its move to the upside and this is our um, an eight exponential moving average we actually call that the t-line and what we see here is just literally an extraordinary t-line run um, it's rare when you see a t-line run this strong for this long and you can see in that we just continue to push this up now one thing i want to point out though is it's pretty hard not to see this as being uh doggone parabolic. So be careful with that. Parabolic markets can last longer than um, a lot of folks might think, but at the same time when they end, they tend to end in an ugly way. So watch that carefully. Um, notice that we are extremely extended away from our 50-day moving average and really far away from the 200-day moving average. And just watch that carefully as we continue to con extend and those bulls continue to want to push those things up. And this has been really supported by those financials and um, and um, oil related stocks. They have been really, really strong. If they maintain that strength, that's okay. But just keep in mind that even a pullback in here to test some of these support levels could be a really painful pullback if you happen to be the last one in the door here buying uh, buying up in such an extended index. So watch that close. Let's take a look at the VIX. VIX finally, finally, finally started to break down a little bit more. Um, obviously that fear spike that we had in here pushing us up above that 50, but we've rejected that now totally pushing that back down. And I've mentioned this before that I wasn't really concerned unless we broke above there and actually held up above there as support. And that has not occurred. One thing I do wanna point out though, um, as of Friday, we were still kind of holding that little bit of a higher low, so a little bit of a wedge. But I suspect the gap up this morning is going to push us back down, and we may be back down here testing this area. So one thing I want to continue to point out, we're setting new record highs, and we continue to hold around a 20 handle here in the VIX. That is extraordinary. It has not happened in my trading career, and something you want to pay attention to, just how quickly that could potentially shift if uh, those bears decide to attack or if there's that news event that comes in. So watch that closely. But right now, doesn't seem to be a whole lot of fear here in the market. Um, and honestly, that makes me a little bit nervous <laughs> when we're holding a 20, 20 handle and seeing the markets hit new records. That makes me just a little bit nervous and I'm going to be on my toes. Um, let's take a look at T2122. Now, T2122 is something that really is giving me that 
bit of a pause here. And once again, we've pushed this right back up and we're going to gap up this morning. It looks like we're gapping right up into here. As you can see my little arrow up here. Looks like we're going to gap right up into here this morning. Um, very, very high um, in T2122, which suggests that four week new high is really, really stretched out. And um, again, I'm just going to repeat this over and over and over. We can hold up here for a period of time, but remember, um, I have never seen a time when it hasn't resolved itself to a downside move. So I can't say when it's going to occur, but it will occur eventually. So just make sure you're not the last one buying up stock into this rally. Um, it, just in case it happens to um, switch and flip the other direction. So watch that close um, and just be aware of the potential danger that's here. And then if we take a look at T2101, this also gives me a little concern and combining the two of these really bugs me here um, in the market. Notice that we continue to show our absolute market breadth and decline. We have even broken that little upside rally going on here, that wedge broken that down and we continue to sink here on our t2101 now we're reaching down here to these levels where we will typically bounce off of that t2101 but it's remarkable to me that we're hitting new record highs with fewer and fewer and fewer stocks holding that index uh, those indexes up so watch that closely if we do get that reversal that snap that could occur really quickly kind of overextended on one side in that t2122 and very very anemic here on t2101 if we get that reversal it could snap very quickly so watch that closely let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and you know it's going to be kind of a light week overall on um, everything here as we kind of wind down this year whoops sorry picked up that blog post there take a look over here we have um, really not much going on here today as you can see we've got a fed balance sheet no one cares um, how much debt the fed carries anymore so not much to worry about there um, no particular uh, worries at all here notice we have um, case shiller housing prices um, on tuesday we've got um, international trading goods on Wednesday in the petroleum status report, PMI and pending home sales. That'll be one of our biggest days. And then of course, the thing that can certainly affect us is this jobless claims over here on Thursday. So watch that closely. Um, gonna be kind of an interesting, kind of an interesting um, week here. Uh, typically sees that decline in volume pretty rapidly um, with traders extending their vacations. So just watch that carefully. And then on the earnings front, we have a very light earnings calendar, which shouldn't be a major surprise as we wind down our last quarter and the last four days of trading in 2020. But we do have a couple notables this morning. Take a look at FDS. FDS is reporting today. Looks like it got a nice report gapping um, strongly here this morning, pushing up really, really strong. Keep in mind, this still has a downtrend that it has to deal with. And we're rising here in this little uptrending wedge. So watch that closely as we approach that resistance in the chart. And then the only other notable that I could really come up with, um, HEI for today keep an eye on that as it reports this is a nice little wedging consolidating pattern up here watch this level right in here if that reports well that could push on through uh, breaking through to the upside so watch that one let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that everyone if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. I also want to ask you that if you felt like this video was worthy and helpful in how you plan your day or maybe even your week forward, um, if you could please click that um, thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. That helps us continue to grow 
I just want to say thank you, everyone, for all the support of this channel. You guys are awesome, and truly the comments humble me. I do read them all. I don't get a chance to answer them all, but I do read them all, and I want to thank you, everyone, who does take the time to do that. It means the world to me. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And uh, before we do that, I want to remind everyone that every time I look at a stock in one of these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, it's one of those things that we want to be really, really careful with and never blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. However, if you find these to be um, useful to you, put them on a watch list, mark them, mark them up, do your own due diligence and see whether or not these might be suitable for your trading plan. Let's take a look at some of these stocks. I've been kind of impressed with the price pattern here in this Fastly. Now, certainly Fastly has pulled back to um, its uptrend here. I've been watching the last few days and seeing a little bit of bullishness coming in in the pre-market this morning on Fastly. If this can hold some price support in here, you can see how that might just hold in here and provide that next potential leg up. And one of the things I wanted to point out is we still have a significant amount of this gap that could potentially be filled. So keep an eye on Fastly. Um, pretty decent looking chart um, as long as those bulls can continue to hold in here. Take a look at Lyft. Lyft has been consolidating in an extremely tight consolidation pattern. All we need is that little bit of burst of bullishness in here and we can maybe see Lyft continue to extend on to the upside. Watch that chart's looking pretty pretty darn good. Um, that consolidation is extremely tight. And I think the way I would probably handle this is I would place an alert up here. I'd wanna see those bulls push through there um, before I would be too interested in that trade because remember, it's about an equal chance that we could move down. The only reason I favor the upside is because of the upside trend. Let's take a look at UPS. UPS has been struggling in here a little bit in this consolidation. Couple of days of selling in here, but we're still overall holding up. And I'm gonna adjust this trend line here. You can see we're running in this nice little upside trend. And as this continues to consolidate through here, we know that shipping has been extremely strong. As that continues to consolidate in here, we may find that uh, bullish push in here to push us on up and maybe break out of this resistance high in the chart. Keep an eye on that. UPS could be setting up nicely. Starbucks is also in a setup place here. And I was watching this sharper upside trend, but we've kind of slipped away from that sharper upside trend and we're coming back toward this longer upside trend in the chart. And notice that as we continue to consolidate this move over here and get closer and closer to that trend, we could find that inspiration to extend this um, rally on higher. So keep an eye on Starbucks could be setting up nicely. Take a look at play. Dave and Buster's. Now, I got to be honest, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me in um, uh, an area where so many businesses are being restricted because of COVID and folks aren't going out. You know, going into a great big room to play video games with other folks, um, even though there's alcohol involved, doesn't seem to be the most productive place right now. But Dave and Buster's has been really, really strong and um, moving up. Um, substantially here. Now, I wouldn't want to chase this move up. I'd probably wait for a little rest or pull back on that to find that next entry into the trade, but it's looking pretty darn good. So keep a close eye on it. There is some upside potential there. Watch it closely. Um, take a look at some retail. Um, retail has been holding up extremely well. And take a look at UAA. Now, I have to admit that I've been holding this as a longer term hold and UAA, so I have a little bit of bias on it. And UAA has been holding up really, really well. What I like about this is we're breaking through. We've broken this major resistance area in the chart. And although we haven't found that inspiration to really follow through to the upside, we're really not giving it up. We're hanging right in here on that level. So watch this, if we can find that inspiration here. UAA could move on higher and looks pretty good. Now, I think I would be remiss um, with a $900 billion 
um, stimulus package um, being printed and we're adding, well, we're just running very, very close to $30 trillion in debt in the US economy. If we take a look at GLD, uh, now it's interesting this morning that treasuries are rallying this morning and um, we're pushing back here a little bit in GLD in the pre-market. But let's keep an eye on this. This is broken back above this um, resistance area, which is now support. And we're holding above this downtrend. So any consolidating move in here could set up that upside. Let's watch that closely. There's a little bit of a trend going on here. Keep a close eye on GLD. And I would also keep a little bit of an eye on silver. Now silver is spiking the other direction this morning, starting to perk up here. And as you can see, pushing back up into some resistance, um, excuse me, not resistance, um, right here and little tiny resistance right there as we continue to push up now i don't know if you would be wise to rush into that maybe a little bit of resting pullback gives you a better opportunity but silver looking pretty strong here this morning as some of those precious metals starting to perk back up so there's a few stocks for you to look at there's quite a few others that um, are showing up to be really nice and i want to um, let everyone know if you're listening to this video um, we're doing something special in hit run candlesticks and right way options for the rest of this week we're kind of gathering both of our groups together and we're opening up the room to the public so if you look below the title of the video here there will be a link um, that will send you right over to our trading room. You guys can attend all day. In fact, you can attend the rest of this week. Check us out and see what you think. And um, maybe we'll, you'll learn something as we go throughout the day. So welcome. Try to come on over if you get a chance. Look for that link. Everyone, I want to wish you a fantastic day. I want to wish you a fantastic week. Be safe. We'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.